Habba Malalekwa was a news junkie from a young age. He recalls how growing up, he used to beg his dad to let him watch a current affairs show that aired way past his bedtime. I told myself that one day I will be a journalist and I will help the communities. And up to now, the stories that I write, I make sure that there must be some kind of action or some kind of answers that come, comes from the uh, policyholders, the people in the government. As an award-winning reporter with Oxpecker's investigative environmental journalism, a media outlet headquartered in South Africa, he does exactly that, at some risk. In the stories that I do, I do find uh, officials hiding information from me. And when I go uh, to dig deeper, um, some of the people will say, uh, please, uh, you can publish this, but anonymously. That shows you that here there is some kind of danger, something is being hidden. He remembers reporting on illegal mining at an abandoned gold mine in Johannesburg. We tried to get some footage, but we were told that here, guys, you can be shot. And you don't want to go next to those people because there are powerful people that they are working for. You ask for an interview, you are dead. <laughs> but he keeps reporting, saying the issues he covers are crucial to people in impoverished communities who don't have a voice. And Oxpecker's stories do make a difference. An investigation into mining near a major water source in South Africa brought change. Around, you know, and there were plans by a mining company to mine there, mine coal. We reported on that, and that has resulted in the a lot of changes around policy and laws uh, relating to mining and, and how it should operate. Oxpeckers relies on cutting-edge technology combined with boots on the ground reporting to expose environmental offences and track perpetrators. We've also used uh, a range of other tools that include satellites, uh, drones and various multimedia tools. So we combine um, geojournalism, data journalism and these new other new media tools um, with traditional investigative journalistic techniques. Oxpecker's website includes mapping and data sets on mining, wildlife, crime, timber issues, renewable energy and more. While focused on Southern Africa, the nonprofit has expanded its network to Asia and Europe. Many of these stories focus on wildlife crimes involving endangered African species like rhinos and pangolins. Again, Oxpecker's stories have proved consequential. McLeod says its reporting has led to the prosecution of a number of trafficking kingpins. Kate Bartlett, VOA News, Dedusa Township, South Africa.